Hello guys, welcome to our welding tutorial. Today, I will show you how to perform tap welding. But before we proceed, let's identify the safety precaution that we need to follow while performing the tap welding. So these are the safety precautions that we need to follow. First, always wear gloves while performing the activity. Second, look first the surrounding before striking an art. Third, avoid horse playing inside the laboratory area. And lastly, wear safety goggles or safety glasses when you are removing this lag. So these are the tools, equipment, and materials needed in performing a welding. So magpusit tayo ngayon sa mga materials. So ang unang materials natin ay electrode. Electrode with electrode classification na E6013 with diameter of 2.5 mm. So next, nakakailangan din natin is the metal plate. So si metal plate ang gagawin natin or ang gagamitin natin para ma-perform si up welding. So proceed naman tayo sa mga tools and equipment. So first tools is the chipping hammer. Next is the wire brush. Vice grip and angle grinder if necessary. And lastly, in the equipment is the welding machine. So, mag-pusit naman tayo sa mga personal protective equipment na kakailanganin natin habang nagpe-perform ng top welding. So, welding gloves, welding jacket, safety glass, and lastly, the auto-darkening helmet. Okay? So, ito yung mga kakailanganin natin sa pagpe-perform ng top welding. Now, let's proceed to the demonstration in performing top welding. Okay? So, proceed naman tayo sa mga procedures and steps na kakailanganin natin sundan para ma-perform natin si top welding. So, step 1, prepare the tools, equipment, and materials needed. So, kanina na-discuss natin or nabanggit natin yung mga materials na kakailanganin. So, nakaprepare na siya. Then, step 2, wear the personal protective equipment. So, nakasoft na rin yung mga personal protective equipment na magpoprotect na sa body natin. So, next, open the welding machine and set the current to 60 to 19 amperes. Okay? So, open ko ngayon yung ating welding machine. Then, as you can see, sinet ko yung ating welding machine in 70 amperes. Gapo lang. Sineset natin ng 60 to 90 amperes yung ating amperahe pag ang gagamitin nating electrode ay 2.5 mm diameter. Pero pag gumamit na tayo ng 3.2 mm diameter ng electrode, tsaka natin tataasan ng uh, ampere yung ating welding machine. So, naging range siya ng 90 to 120 amperes. So, proceed naman tayo ngayon sa step 4. Step 4, clamp the bare end of the electrode in the holder. So, meron akong electrode dito. So, ang bare end ng electrode ay itong part na walang coating. So, ikaklamp natin siya ngayon sa electrode holder. Okay, so nakaklamp na siya. Then, next, proceed tayo sa step 5. Step 5, clamp the bronze clamp to the base metal or in the welding table. So, ito nga pala yung ating ground clamp. So, i-clamp natin siya sa ating welding table o di kaya sa ating workpiece or base metal na i-welding. Okay? So, proceed tayo ngayon sa step 6. Step 6, hold the plate using the vice grip to maintain the alignment of your metal plate. So, okay. So, ito yung metal plate na it uh, itatap weld natin. So, nilagay ko siya or hinold ko siya o di kaya clean ko siya sa ating vice grip. Para sa ganun, um, habang tinatap weld natin siya ay nasa alignment pa din yung metal plate natin. Okay? So, lahat po ba'y nakakasabay? So, proceed naman po tayo ngayon sa step 7. So, step 7 is strike an arc. Okay? So, sa pag-strike ng arc, meron tayong dalawang methods. Tapping method and scratching method. Sa tapping method, ang gagawin natin, itatap lang natin yung electrode sa ating base metal. Sa scratching method naman, i-scratch natin yung electrode sa ating 
base metal na parang nagkakaskas lang tayo ng phosphoro. Okay? So, step 8, tap in both edge of the workpiece or base metal. So, ipeperform na natin si tap welding. Okay, so na-perform na natin si top welding. So, ang next na gagawin natin ay yung step 9. Sa step 9, using a chipping hammer, chip off the slug from the bead and use a steel brush to remove the remnants of the beads. Okay? So... Next, step 10, present the finished work piece to the teacher. We are done in demonstrating on how to perform top welding. I hope that you have learned this tutorial. See you in our next welding tutorial.